it's my favorite sewing machine at long last. As you can see, we are taking delivery of it here at Walker's Bay Yacht Club. Bloody hell, this is heavier than our anchor. <laughs> I understand now why Ruby Rose is so upset about the weight. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but it's going to be worth every single to gram all lines, of it. The lines, not sheet lines. I need to it's exercise. It's going to be worth every gram of what, what, what do you call it? Gram. Do we need a sewing machine on board? Um, we give that a hell yes, definitely yes. I don't think we want to be caught up in the ocean with a hole in a sail or anything like that. So yes, we've decided it's an absolute must. We want to have a machine on board. The big question was which machine. So what I've done is um, I'm going to do a comparison, but I need to point out I'm comparing or what I googled is heavy duty and portable so that's very important it's got to be heavy duty and portable so none of these comparisons are um, looking at domestic machines so you you need something to last I mean boats do go bump in the night <laughs> so yes we are looking at robust heavy duty portable so the three machines that I looked at um, was a Texo or Texo a Rex and a Sailrite so these, the, the, just the first three that popped up, obviously sale right, as you can see we definitely decided on sale right, so I just needed to compare with two other machines that I could find. Now the first question that you need to ask yourself is what do you intend doing with your machine? So there's a couple of things because you get machines that can only do straight stitching and then you get machines that can do straight and zigzag. So ask yourself a couple of questions and then you see if you tick any of the boxes and then you're going to know which ones to go for. Sale making and repairs, that's a yes tick, you need a zigzag machine for that. Buttonholes, you need a zigzag machine for that. Then a stretchy material, you need a zigzag machine for that. Um, if you want to make clothes as well, I mean we're not just going to make sales. Uh, also you're going to need your zigzag stitch and if you bind two uh, materials together and they fray at the end then you obviously need to zigzag that as well so if, if any of those are one of your preferences then a definite definite yes you're going to look at a zigzag machine so that is the one thing that we looked at okay I'm going to just highlight a couple of pointers between the three machines first of all we're going to look at the layers how thick can this machine because I mean if you look at your canvas and your sails and stuff you need something robust that can go through quite a number of layers the, both the Texel and the Rex can handle four layers, around four layers depending on what, but the thickest layer, thickest type of canvas that you can get about four layers of those, where the Sailrite can handle 12 layers, so a huge difference there. Another thing that we're looking about is the carry case as well, do they come with a carry case or without? Only the Sailrite comes with a carry case, the rest just has a carry handle here at the top. 
so that you're carrying it around. Also, personal thing, I feel a carry case protects your machine wherever you're going to store it on the boat. If it comes without a carry case, um, it's just unnecessary damage that can happen. So yes, that's my preference, also a carry case. Another th thing that we looked at is weight. Okay, there, that's a bit of a problem. Your techs on your wrecks, they come in at about 17 kgs, where this little baby comes in at 25 kgs. So that is a bit of a bother. We, say, we store ours underneath the forward peak uh, bunk a bit. So I need to delve in there to get it out, but there's no way that I can pick it up. It is way too heavy because my bum's in the air and I'm diving down at the bottom. So please, Captain, can help. So there's just no way that I can pick it up. It's way too. On a straight surface, I might be able to carry it for a couple of meters, but the heavy lifting frick has to do that for me. So this is pretty heavy. So um, that was a, other differences. Another thing that we looked at is RPM which was also quite a difference for me. Um, the, both the Tex, uh, Texo and the Rex come in at 900 IP, RPMs, where this little mum number comes in at 8,200. So you can well imagine um, this, can, this can handle serious, that's why it can handle 12 layers. So that was important, um, a thing to look at as well. Okay, all the machines that we looked at can zigzag and straight, so that's all fine. And then another thing that we looked at is a walking foot. Your normal domestic machines as underneath the plate at the bottom. It has got teeth that grips the material and pulls it forward. So you've got one set of teeth pulling the materials. But the thicker your layer is, the more this little couple of teeth is going to battle to get the top one through as well. So what we've done is I've gone for walking feet as well. So all three of these machines do have walking feet. That just means the top end also has teeth. So the material gets grip top and bottom and gets pulled, which just helps a lot. If, as I said, if you handle thick stuff, it just makes life so much easier. So that was another thing to look at. Price-wise, um, very important. The Texo comes in at about six seven hundred um, dollars the Rex comes in about $400, whereas this little baby comes in at $1,000. Now, I know Sailrite from time to time has a 10% discount, so if you guys are going to go and approach them, just ask them when they're running discounts. So they do give sometimes a 10% discount. So as I said, um, we did go with this baby. It's a straightforward one. Uh, there was two models that we looked at. Now, Sailrite comes in with two ranges, and they made it easy. They color-coded it. They've got a red range and a blue range. The red range can only do straight stitching. So um, I didn't even bother to go that route. So that in the blue range, they've got a couple of models available. And they all come in 220 and one. We are rigged for 220. Um, another reason why the sail ride works for us. Uh, the other two machines only come in 110. So with a 220, I look, there's a LSZ one that's got a plus and a premium. The only difference between the plus and the premium range is this is the plus. So basically it's accessory. So uh, it comes, all comes with your basic tools. It comes with bobbins, oils, stuff to hold your cotton in. So they come with the basic stuff. Now the, pre the premium comes with a couple of extra stuff. They come with a monster wheel. This is this one, that, which just weighs a lot more, so it can handle so much more. But I just felt 12 layers is enough for me. I'm quite happy with the performance. I made a cover for her barbecue, and it worked out brilliantly. So I am more than chuffed with this one. So that's the monster wheel that it comes with. Then it comes with another foot. Um, you can almost call it the self-steamer. What it does is if the material comes through, it flips it over and then it sews the hem. But you can just do it yourself as well, so I can't really understand why you need a foot to do that. Then they come with uh, another foot that can handle thick piping. This one can handle your normal piping, but the advantage is you can set this lever, you can set the needle left, middle, or right. So you can come pretty close to your, 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 your cord. So I'm, it can be done exactly, you can do your thick piping, it's just not going to be as tight as the other foot. Uh, I'm not really going to need the thick piping, so to me, 
I didn't need to pay. It's 300 bucks extra for all the extra, so I, it just didn't warrant it for me. Then the other one that they had was, oh, they've got a needle assortment pack that comes with it. So I didn't worry about that because I've got an alternative that I went um, and bought locally from Cape Town. So yeah, that's in a natural, a basic machine. It can do, as I said, four straight sewing, zigzag sewing. It's got your very, very simple levers, forwards and backwards. It's got your zigzag setting is here. Your needle's position is there, and that's it. It's, it's straightforward. You lift your foot and you let it go down. Straightforward stuff. Now, this machine also comes with both the machines. They come with this elastic, which um, I don't know, you might find it useful or not. I guess when you start sewing your thin cells, this will be very important. The carry case has got very sharp corners, so what you do is you put this strap around. So it covers that corner, so your material doesn't hook on it. So it, it's, it's quite ingenious. And then it comes with a little light, a LED light, uh, which is brilliant. But for the life of me, I can't understand why they just didn't build it into the machine like your regular domestic machines. Because this little baby has got a magnet, so you stick it on, but the disadvantage is, is this. So now you need a socket for your machine and you need a socket for your life, uh, your light, for the life of me. Um, yeah, so that's a bit of a bummer. They could have integrated it. I don't, yeah, that's the only negative I've got for this machine. And what I also got from Sale Right was this little speedy stitcher. So that's just for a quick fix it. So when you out in the open at scene you contact the cell right and out and you just need to fix something quickly there's just this hand stitcher that comes with its cotton which I thought that could be pretty handy as I said just now as well why I didn't bother to go for all the other extras as well let me just stop here quickly cell right has the most comprehensive website that I've ever seen I, I don't think there's a question you have to or that you can ask that won't be answered on that site. It is absolutely amazing what they cover there. They've got how-to videos on just about anything that you can make. How to make a cell, how to repair a cell, how to make dinghy chaps, how to do enclosures. They've got everything they've got on that site. So I just thought that was pretty awesome. And all the accessories that you can buy from them, everything is on their website. It is just totally brilliant. What I did in Cape Town, I went to Orman Sales, the people that made our sales, to, just to speak to the people and find out what do you really need, what do you need extra, etc. So they gave me a lovely little bag and in that we gathered a lot of stuff. So I bought extra cotton from them and apparently this is going to last me a lifetime. Well, I hope it's going to last me a lifetime. I've got pickers from them, apparently two will do the trick. I've got an assortment of needles from them and then they give you all all the stuff to fix cells with your Genoa stuff, your banding there, um, mainsail, the Code Zero, Code G. So I picked up a lot of extras from them um, on standby so I won't be stuck. I will have enough and I will have everything to fix our sales with. So I am totally chuffed with everything here. Yeah. I think that is it. I think I've covered everything. Well, I hope I've covered ev everything. So yes, we are very happy with our sale right. It can do straight, it can do zigzag, it can do eight, 12 layers, it's got a massive motor in it at 8200 RPMs. And I'm super chuffed with my Weber Bright cover that I made. So <laughs> yes, definitely a sewing machine on board and we like our sale right. I hope you found it useful. Thanks for watching guys, remember to subscribe and remember to give us a thumbs up, bye!